Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to get this seed pod map upgrade that's gonna allow you to see every single seed pod on your map. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, the very first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have recruited Peely to Kobo. Now this happens throughout the main story where you encounter him and you can speak with him. He'll give you some dialogue and come to Kobo on top of the Plune Saloon. Uh, but if you've played through the main mission and you forgot to speak with him, we're going to show you exactly where you need to go to do that. Now, if you've already completed the mission and you didn't get a chance to talk to Peely, where he's going to be located is over on Jeddah. You want to go to the meditation point Time Worn Bridge. So go ahead and fast travel there. And once you're there, you're going to turn around from this meditation point. And we have a window here. We're going to jump off this window. Now, there's a good chance that you can die. So what you want to do is hug this wall. Once we get low, we'll double jump. You can dash if you want. Just be careful. I've died a couple times trying to jump off the ledge there. Once we get down here, we're going to run down here on the right side. We can jump across and right over here. We're going to have a zip line. If you jump up on this zip line, we're going to ride right into where Peely is generally stationed when you first come over here to this planet. Now, if he's not here, it means you've already talked to him and he's already back on Kobo. So now we can head back to Kobo. Now, once you've recruited Peely to Kobo, he's going to be on top of the Plune Saloon up here where the garden is. To get access up here, you actually need to go through the mission where you rescue Z. So progress through the main story. Eventually, you will get access up here. Uh, and after doing so, we can come up here on the roof and we're going to have a plot that we can start planting seeds in. Now, you'll only have one. There are several upgrades where you can upgrade other sides. So you guys can see at this point, I have all of them unlocked. But to start, I only had this one in front of me. Now, the way that we're going to do this is we need to get 10 different seeds. So I'm sure as most of you guys have played throughout the game, you can find seed pods on just about every planet. And we need to gather 10 different types of seed pods. Now, these can be gathered on this planet, on other planets. Generally, the different regions have different types of seeds. So as you progress through the main story and you're gathering the seed pods, you should get enough to come back and work your way on getting through this map upgrade. Now, if you're watching this video and you think you've already got 10 seeds, there's one way that we can check. If we walk up to the garden, we can start gardening here. And you guys will see the first thing that pops up is the small plot. Now on my screen, I only have three different types of seeds here. We have different colors of some of the same seeds, but we only have three different types. We go over to medium plot. I have four different types, which puts us at seven. And large, I have three, which puts us at 10. You need 10 total different types of seeds to be able to unlock this upgrade. So essentially what you're going to do is plant one of every single seed in your garden. It doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter how. You just need to plant 10 different seeds. You can do it all in one plot. That's what I did. You guys can see my 10 different ones right here. And they're different sizes, right? So the small seeds are going to only take up one little section. The mediums take up three and the large take up like five. So you want to be really careful about where you're putting these, not just randomly throughout the, the soil here. But once you plant all 10 seeds, you're going to want to wait for them to grow. Now, as of right now, I don't think there's any way to make them speed up. But if you go over to the plants tab, you'll be able to see a meter that shows exactly how long it's going to take for the plants to grow. So all of these are grown on my screen. You guys can see it says fully grown. But if I go to plant a small plot right here with the rest, I can then go over to plants while hovering over it and you'll see we have a timer. So we're on stage one or technically we're on stage two. The next stage will happen in 20 minutes and so on and so forth. I believe it takes around 45 minutes to an hour and a half to be able to do different sized plants. But what you want to do after planting all of your seeds you need all 10 of them to grow fully. So you want to wait, go do some other stuff in the game. I've tried backing out. I've tried resetting, going to rest at a meditation point. None, none of it works. So you want to just play the game and wait for the plants to grow. Once the plants are all done growing and you have 10 fully grown different types of seeds here, we can then run over here on the top and we're going to have this little device that we can use. And this is what's going to give us the map upgrade. Now, if you don't have all 10 seeds, you're not going to have any option to do anything here yet. But once they're all grown, you can run over here, use this, and you'll be able to get the map upgrade. And as you guys can see, although I've made a lot of videos on a lot of collectible locations in some areas that I haven't been in yet, you can see all of these are unobtained seeds, which is really, really nice if you're exploring the map and want to find some more seed pods. But this is how you're able to get the map upgrade for seeing all the seed pods on your map. If you guys have any other questions on how to do this, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll see you guys in the next video.